Hi all, it's Aerostuff FPV and I have a new aircraft to show you. This is my new long range high altitude aircraft for recording semi cinematic FPV videos and reconnaissance. This is the successor of the red VTAIL FPV aircraft in which you can find some awesome FPV videos off on my channel. And later in this video I'll compare this version with the previous version, the red VTAIL aircraft, for you to see what the differences will be in the future when I fly it out for long range FPV or high altitude flights. So this aircraft is controlled with the ZOHD co-pilot lights flight controller and has long range reception with the FR Sky L9R receiver. So this is the VTAIL stabilizer with a single VTAIL span starting from the edge of the fuselage of 30 centimeters or 11.81 inches. And the one and a half inch rotivators are controlled with MG90S servos and super strong steel wires as the push rods. The total cord of the VTAIL stabilizer is six inches and is tapered to three inches on the edge. This is the collapsible arm and wing with a 5 inch cord and a total wingspan of 1.6 meters or to be very precise in inches, 62.99 inches. And the ailerons are tapered from the roots, so from 1.5 inch uh, aileron to 0.5 inches. This is the Racer Star BR3536. 950 kV brushless outrunner with a Genfan 12x7 prop running on a 50 amp red brake ESC. This aircraft is powered by two homemade 4 cell 3.4 amp hours lithium ion flight batteries, which are wired in parallel on the plane for a total flight capacity of 6.8 amp hours. So one battery will go in the front compartment and is held in place by the ESC and wooden paint sticks at the back and the other battery will go in the battery compartment behind the main wing and is held in place by the same wooden paint sticks which are now in the front of the battery and the piece of folded plastic card at the back which prevents it from shifting backwards. So here you'll see that the front battery is connected with the shortest XT60 cable and the battery in the aft compartment is connected to an XT60 cable with an extension. So with both batteries in place, the center of gravity will locate itself 2.5 inches behind the leading edge of the main wing, which is a perfect CG location for me. So here's the ZOHD Copilot Lite flight controller with the BN220 GPS unit from ZOHD. So what I found remarkable on this flight controller is that it's so reliable in every mode, so not only in stabilization and return to home, but also in the flying wing mode, the T-tail mode, and the V-tail mode. And especially in return to home, my previous plane always flew back without any hesitation or error. And for a flight controller like the ZOHD Copilot Lite for only 30 euros on Banggood, I literally have nothing to complain about. So here you'll see the underside of the arm and wing and you'll see two extra extensions coming out of the center of the wing. Those are for the video transmitter and the FPV camera. The FPV systems have to be installed yet because I'm still in the testing phase of this aircraft. But after testing I'll install all my FPV gear in the wings and I'll also hook up a Minimos D for essential flight data like battery voltage and analog RSSI coming from the l r receiver. So after all this informational talk, here you have some flight footage of this aircraft. Thank you all for watching and I encourage you to stay tuned because I have some incredible planes to show you that are super unique in their own way. So thank you all for watching again and take care.